Hi, my name's Lori Williams. I'm the small groups director here at Creative Church. I just wanted to take a minute and tell you a little story about myself. These five wonderful men behind me are my sons. There was a time in our lives a few years ago, I won't tell you how many, I might tell you my age, but we were in another season of life that was much like this season of COVID-19. We were in a place where we were struggling to pay our bills and we weren't really sure how we were gonna pay our rent for the next month. That said, we had a friend who owned a business that he generously offered for us to go and clean movie theaters on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. So all of these boys back then, now men, jumped in right on board with us and we went in, we drove into town every weekend and sometimes clear across town. We went from Maple Lake to East Bethel and we went all the way to Monticello and you name it, we've been there, Delano, all over the place. Anyway, um, we were the team that would show up at midnight after you'd been at your movie and you're engulfed in that movie and maybe it was a scary movie and you're eating your popcorn and then suddenly something happens and you're startled. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's okay. Everything's good. We're all good. Back to the movie. We're watching our movie. We have all our little kids here. We're eating our candy, drinking our pop and we're done. So let's just put the little wrappers over here in the cup holder. And we'll just leave the cup there. And then the movie's all over and everybody leaves. And you don't think twice about it. Everybody's laughing, they're having a good old time. Out to the car we go, dad warms up the car, comes up to the door to pick everybody up. And we're laughing and it's a wonderful, wonderful family time. And I agree, it's awesome. But I vacuumed seven miles every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night, picking up a lot of that popcorn that was left on the floor. And we would wipe up and mop up the pop that would be spilled because someone was scared or they jumped up and knocked over their pop. Or you can imagine, maybe it's happened to you, maybe not. Needless to say, now when we go to a movie, I don't think any one of us ever leaves our cup in the cup holder or our popcorn on the floor. I think we all take it to the back door and put it into the trash as we leave. Now that said, I wanted to read a couple of scriptures here, and I wanted to talk about how Jesus came to serve. He came to turn our thinking and our world upside down. In Matthew 20, 28, it says, just as the son of man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Jesus was not too good to serve. Are you too good to serve? Have you ever walked down the hallway, seen a cup on the floor, seen a little trash somewhere and said, eh, they got somebody to do that. They pay people to do that. Well, I'm here to tell you, Creative Church has a wonderful team of volunteers. And yes, we have a couple of paid people that will help with that. But this is our house. This is my house. This is your house. And so I encourage you, if Jesus isn't too good to serve, neither are we. We just need to be mindful. If we see a little something over there that missed the trash can or a little water around the sink, or I don't know, you've probably seen something before. Don't just think somebody else will take care of that. Think, I'm going to bless somebody. I'm going to do that. Jesus came to serve, not to be served. Again, in John 13, I want to read this story. And so when Jesus had washed their feet and he had taken his garments and he reclined at the table again, he said to them, do you know what I've done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you're right for so I am. If I then, Lord and teacher, washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I gave you an example that you also should do as I did to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a slave is not greater than his master. Neither is one who is sent greater than the one who sent him. 
If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. So, you know, being in the kingdom of heaven and to be in the family of God, having a title really isn't that big of a deal. It's not about being someone with a title and having a position. It's about servanthood. It's about taking out the towel and wiping someone's feet or in today's day and age, wiping up a spill on the counter or picking up that piece of trash or as I saw someone do on Sunday, scooping up the goose poop on the sidewalk. I bet none of you guys wanted to do that one, huh? I'd like to pray for our volunteers right now. Will you join me? Lord, we thank you for your example when you washed the feet of your disciples that night at the table. Lord, you've taught us by example that you came to serve and that we can serve also that we should serve if we want to be like you. Your word says that no one person is greater than another and that to be blessed, we are to do the same as you did. Lord, I declare a wonderful blessing on those who serve at the Creative Church. I pray for the volunteers who show up faithfully without fail to greet us every time the doors are open. Lord, I pray for the interns who work so tirelessly to be sure that everything is set just right so that we don't have to think twice about things when we arrive. Thank you, Father, for the numerous unnamed volunteers who see the things that we don't, and they silently, graciously step in and take care of every detail. Father, bless us in our communities, Fridley, Maple Grove, and the surrounding areas. I pray that we would be a light on a hill and that we would bring hope and life to a lost and hurting world, God, that we would be your hands and feet to a dark and lonely world. In Jesus' name, amen. Don't forget to take your soda to the trash can. God bless.